the story of the Bible? It's this. This is too simple, but it's true. It's God against the gods. The book of Exodus chapters 1 through 14 give you the story. One day in Egypt, Moses walked, knocked on the door of Pharaoh, who was the son of and the embodiment of amun Re, the chief of all the Egyptian gods. He said, Yahweh sent me. Israel is my firstborn, my son. Let them go into the wilderness to worship me. He said, I don't know, Yahweh, and I won't let them go. Before God was through, he knew exactly who Yahweh was. God then cursed all the gods. I uh, cursed the earth, Gab, cursed the skies, cursed the river, Osiris, Anisus, cursed the gods of wisdom. They didn't know what to do with him. Thoth, Horus, life and laughter, cursed them all, the cars that embodied all of that. It's all God against the gods. They left Egypt, came to the sea. The Egyptian god knew it. Moses said, God and Moses said, um, step aside, my people are coming through. Knew it, said, tell them to go around. God said, that doesn't suit me, we're coming through. And so he did, brought them through. <laughs> oh boy. Now they turn, having watched the sea devour the Egyptians. And they now look at the wilderness. Sekhmet, a goddess, hateful, destroyer, defender of Egypt, ruiner of all that is lovely in that. And her real mark was the wilderness. She had the power expressed in that. And she whispered, I'm going to bury you here. And God said to Nuant, that won't happen. You might as well be a park. I'm going to have my people in here. I'll feed them. I'll give them the drink. Your clothes won't get old. I'll take care of them for 40 long years. You? You're nothing. Numbers 34, Exodus 14, and all kinds of texts make it clear that God is against the gods. He's not mad at the ground. He's not mad at the sky. He's not mad at the sun. He's not mad at parks. He's not mad, mad even at wildernesses, for pity's sake. What he's mad at is the gods, the stories of the gods, the gods we invent and trust. And he said, they're not powers. I am the power. Trust me. God bless you.